Ladies and gentlemen, Raila Amolo Dinga officially submitted his petition challenging the election of William Samoy Araproto as the President of the Republic of Kenya to the Supreme Court. That move by Raila Amolo Dinga is causing serious panic in Kenya Kwanza. And I've been observing their reaction and you can clearly tell that Kenya Kwanza are worried. Yesterday, the deputy president sent his close ally, Silvanus Osoro, the South Mugirango member of parliament, to court to go and try to stop the Supreme Court from declaring Raila Amuludinga as the president-elect of the Republic of Kenya. For those who have been following the petition, Raila Odinga is making 23 prayers to the Supreme Court. And one of the prayers, which was their ninth prayer, is that an order be and is hereby made consequent upon the nullification of the declaration of the results by the second respondent, directing the first respondent to tally and verify the count and declare the first and the second petitioners as duly elected as president-elect and deputy president-elect respectively. So basically one of the prayers which Raila Odinga is making to the Supreme Court is that he wants the, the vote to be recounted. And after that recount, what Raila Odinga is asking the court to do is that if the courts will find that indeed he won, then the court should go ahead and declare him as the president-elect. And that is what is worrying William Samoy Araproto and his team. And they have now gone to the Supreme Court, I mean to the High Court, to try and challenge that move. So in this video, I want us to look at the move by Kenya Kwanzaa to try and stop the Supreme Court from declaring Raila Amolodinga as the president-elect of the Republic of Kenya. And the question which we've been also asking ourselves is it possible that the Supreme Court can actually go ahead and declare Raila Odinga as the president-elect? That is one of the questions. But before we get into all those details, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. So the only prayer I'm making, please give this particular video thumbs up. Just click that thumbs up. Now, this is the issue. South Mugirango member of parliament, Silvanus Osoro, and three voters have actually moved to court seeking an interpretation of the law on powers conferred to the IEBC chairperson on declaration of the presidential elections results. So basically, what Osoro and the team want, they want the court to make a, an interpretation whether Fulachi Bukati is the only person who is allowed by law to declare the, the results. Because the, the truth of the matter is that by the time we were going for this election, the vice chairperson had not been gazetted as a returning officer. So far, she has now been gazetted as a returning officer, which means if Fula Chebukate will not be willing to play ball, then the strategy is that the four other commissioners, who are the majority, can decide to declare Raila Odinga. That's why they didn't declare him previously. They can decide to declare Raila Odinga as the president-elect. And because the, chair, the deputy chairperson is now a gazetted returning officer, she can now go ahead and issue Raila Odinga with a certificate. And that is what... what uh, Silvanu Sosoro is seeking in courts. He wants the courts to try and explain the role of the chairperson. Then, this also goes ahead and that uh, they are also trying, the petitioners are also challenging the power of the Supreme Court to declare winner in a presidential election in case of a recount and a retaliation. Now, those are the orders they are seeking. And why are they seeking those orders? Let me, I'm just trying to get a tweet which was made by Kip Dona, Donald Kepkorir, one of the top lawyers in the country. This is the gentleman who actually drafted the Elections Act for IBC. And 
according to Donald Kipkorir, is Don, the Don, Don, Donald. According to the Donald Kipkorir, Jubilee members of parliament changed that law and uh, after changing that law then they decided to give the courts the power now this is the law elections act section 80 for says an election court may by order direct the commission to issue a certificate of election to a president a member of parliament or a member of county assembly so those three so which means the court which is now the supreme court is now election court can can direct the commission which are the ibc to issue certificate to a president member of parliament and county assembly the only people they cannot do that to is the senator women rep and the governor those are county positions <laughs> yeah and it says that a upon recount of the ballot cast the winner is apparent and that is why these guys are worried that if a recount is occasioned and the level of rigging which took place Relo Dinga might actually emerge as the apparent winner and i want to challenge you guys if you've not bought the standard newspaper ensure you get a copy then they they have a pullout of how these rigging schemes took place so those are the issues but the question which Kenyans are asking why would William Ruto seek this particular order i mean seek this particular legal option if he's sure that he won the presidency for me Silvanus Osoro is going to the courts because of the following reasons number one there is serious fear in Kenya Kwanza that the supreme court might actually declare Raila Molodinga as the president elect now laws are laws if someone had an issue with this particular law especially Osoro who is a member of parliament for me he ought to have used the last parliament where he served to challenge the, the law of course supreme court is also an avenue but they fear that the supreme court might decide to declare Raila Odinga as the president because the law which i just read also goes further and that it can only declare that person the winner if he was not involved in crimi criminal activities during the elections so those are the fears that supreme court might actually go ahead and declare Raila Odinga as the president elect and if Raila Odinga is declared as the president elect where will that place Kenya Kwanza because the moment William Ruto was declared the president elect he started acting as the president he's been meet, meeting delegations after delegations after delegations with the main aim with one aim the aim is to consolidate and he's been trying to consolidate so if Raila Odinga is declared that will be the end of there number 2 they're also trying to to divert the attention from the main petition and that's why i'm asking you if you have a some 60 bob go and buy the standard newspaper the standard newspaper has a list of areas where these guys deflated Raila Odinga's figures inflated William Ruto's figures so they they don't want Kenyans to focus on the petition because why would Osoro go to a lower court while well, we all know that election matters election matters are normally handled at the supreme court supreme court is the apex court in this country so once they make a determination that's end no appeal no any other matter but you can always seek further redress from the same same supreme court so the truth of the matter is that they are trying to divert their attention from kenyans and to stop them from focusing on the petition number three i think it's also one of the strategies which william samuera proto is using to defend Wafula Chibukati. You know there's been this issue of Wafula Chibukati, the returning officer and the commission. Whether as Wafula Chibukati he can decide that okay, these are the results I'm announcing. If the other commissioners are not going to be part and parcel of his, his rulings. For example, in this matter, Chibukati was alone, two other commissioners absconded and the the four commissioners disagreed with him 
So that issue will be determined by the court. And because the court will determine that issue, Osoro is heading to the court so that the court can say that Wafula Chibukati is indeed the returning officer. He can act the way he wants and then the Supreme Court can use that avenue. But I think the court will not allow or will not make a determination on that matter until after the matter is determined at the Supreme Court. And number four, I also tend to think that they are not trying to push for a rerun. The truth of the matter is that William Ruto, Kenya Kwanza, Muslim Davadi, and all the rest are well aware that the elections are going to be nullified. And that we have two months again to campaign. And that's why he's been trying to move around consolidating his support. And if the elections are going to be nullified, the only prayer they don't want is Raila Odinga be declared. They do want a situation where a rerun is then occasioned. Then once that rerun is occasioned, then maybe they'll be able to participate and save face. Because if the courts are going to find that they were involved in criminal activities, they'll be locked out. And if the evidence will be glaring that indeed these guys stole the elections, and then they will also not have anywhere to place their head. So the only prayer now they are trying to, to pursue is that the Supreme Court cannot declare Raila. They can only nullify the election and then order for a rerun. And lastly, I also tend to think that William Ruto and his team have looked at the evidence and the petition. I can tell you, Raila Odinga is making 23 prayers to the courts. I don't think all those 23 prayers will not be answered. I'm sure the court will try to consolidate some of the prayers. And once they consolidate, maybe we'll have around 10 or 8 prayers. Remember, apart from that, we we'll also have some other petition. I can assure you, if Raila Odinga's petition is going to fail, there is no way, there is no way Okeya Omtata petition is going to fail. That one is going to pass. Because the truth is, William Ruto never reached the 50% plus one vote. So the court will have to nullify this election and the evidence are there. And because they know that the evidence are there, they are only asking the court indirectly to stop IBC from declaring Raila. And once that is done, then they can go for a rerun. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day. Bye bye.